Із приводу свята Різдва Христового і Нового року Зенон і Дарко Мігус, власники фірми Мігус Автоворк, бажають своїм клієнтам і всій українській громаді веселих свят і щасливого Нового року. Фірма Мігус Автоворк полагоджує ремонти всіх автомобільних марок професійною і чесною обслугою. Христос народився! Щоб поширити діапазон своєї праці, Українська канадська фундація імені Тараса Шевченка минулого року рішила розпочати кампанію збільшення свого фінансового капіталу. Щоб оголосити свою ціл, фундація влаштувала прийняття, на якому представила головних перших жертводавців. Ціллю фундації є збереження і поширення української, канадської культурної спадщини та ширшого розвитку української спільноти в Канаді. The Shevchenko Foundation stands at the forefront in providing such shape to the vision, efforts and ambitions of Ukrainian artists, painters, sculptors, musicians, performers, writers and filmmakers from coast to coast for over half a century. Ведучий вечором режисер Оре Сушко описуючи працю фундації доцільними словами відкрив офіційну програму і представив перший музичний виступ. At the heart of our legacy Our Tomorrow campaign is bringing together people who care about preserving and promoting Ukrainian-Canadian cultural heritage. The performers, we, the performers we've brought together for you this evening go beyond creating art for art's sake. They make art for our sake. It's inspiring to know they can do so in some measure through their indelible connection with Shevchenko Foundation as recipients of multiple grants and more importantly, as being representative of just some of the artistic endeavors the Foundation supports. Considered guardians of such treasures, the Juno Award-winning Griffin Trio from Toronto represents a defining musical hallmark on the world stage. As one of the world's most preeminent piano trios, Anneli Patapatanakun, Roman Bores, and James Parker have impressed international audiences and received critical acclaim for their highly refined and dynamic performances. Голова фундації Андрій Гладишевський цікаво розповідає про працю і широкі наміри Шевченківської фундації. Намічена ціль – збільшити фінансовий капітал на 20 мільйонів доларів. В імені Ради директорів Української канадської фундації імені Тараса Шевченка дякую за присутність і що ви всі прийшли на, на цей, я би сказав, ювелірний день. Це дуже важливий день. Це дейт that will actually reverberate through the history of the Ukrainian-Canadian community what we're about to do today. We're launching a $20 million Our Legacy, Our Tomorrow campaign. What started as uh, an important project envisaged by the board of directors of the Shevchenko Foundation some 10 years ago and really was released about two years ago to form it now comes to life today. As a result of significant consultation with a lot of people in this room and keeping in mind our community's vision to ensure that future generations will have the resources to carry on and build on our cultural traditions, we are proud to launch this campaign today. I'm standing before you today uh, our, with a foundation that the community built, invented, over 50 years ago with the seeding of the $30,000 that remained from the fundraising that took place to erect the statue of Taras Shevchenko uh, on the Manitoba legislative grounds. That $30,000 and the millions of dollars that have been given back to the community now stands at almost $30 million under the management of the foundation. And the vision and mission of the foundation to advance a flourishing Ukrainian-Canadian community for the enrichment of Canada has not changed since 1963, but it has evolved into just a wonderful, magnificent human endeavor. Uh, my heart it goes back to those original founders. I met a lot of them. 
Uh, as we say in our traditions, and as I mentioned today to a, a reporter, their memory is hallowed in our community eternally. And we are eternally grateful for what they are about to do uh, and have done for us. What you're about to do, somebody else standing at this podium 50 years from now will also be eternally grateful for what you will commit to tonight and for your presence here today. Співпредсідник цієї кампанії Роман Дубчак зачитав привіт від фундаторів нової програми Шевчетківської фундації Марти Вітер і Ігора Ігнатовича. To this end, we are working with the Shevchenko Foundation on an exciting new initiative to establish an annual residency program for Ukrainian Canadians to allow them an opportunity to work with the best and brightest minds in their respective fields. We hope that you too will support the Shevchenko Foundation with your gift, big or small, to help shape the future cultural landscape of our community. We wish you a wonderful evening and a successful campaign. Respectfully, Ін Хнатович і Марта Вітер. Актор, режисер Райан Бойко представив момент, який збудив в ньому поняття українства. Somehow my dad managed to get me to go out to one of these Ukrainian events. And if you haven't seen it, Freedom Had a Price is about Canada's first national internment operations. I went the next day to my high school teacher, high school history teacher. I was in grade 10. And I said, can you tell us a little bit about the Ukrainian internment during World War I? And he said, you mean the Japanese internment during World War II? And I said, no, I mean the Ukrainian internment during World War I. He looked me right in the eye, stone-faced, and said, it never happened. I had no idea that that statement would shape the next 15 to 20 years of my life. When I was growing up in Saskatoon, my experience with Ukrainian men were those of businessmen, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, professionals. The premier of our province was Ukrainian. This was my first experience with racism towards my culture. And when I think of it now, I can feel the same emotions, the same anger, the same hurt that I felt that day. So it is safe to say that a film that was supported by the Shevchenko Foundation inadvertently brought me back into the fold of being a proud Canadian Ukrainian. Тоді до подіум запросили пана Тимертея представити свій подарунок для фундації. So many community initiatives count on the Shevchenko Foundation for financial support across this land. And that support has never wavered over many decades. Just two important examples would be of programs that relied and continue to rely on the foundation uh, for uh, financial support would be the Blue West Village Ukrainian Festival, now in its 19th year, which does so much to promote and make visible to the wider Toronto community Ukrainian culture in all its aspects. And another example would be Oris Shushko's production of the music of survival, and I'm sure most of you uh, have seen uh, the, the uh, quite inspirational history of the Bandurist chorus, which brought life to the amazing story of the Banduristi, who, who buoyed the community's morale and spirit in periods of despair, starting from before the Second World War and through the Second World War and continuing to this day. We made our commitment towards the community development program to ensure that a, a variety of a variety of programs live on for the benefit of Canadians in all their many natures. And with that, I have the check. I have the, okay. I have the pen for the check. There you go. If you can't see the number, it's uh, three and a half million dollars. Наступним жертводавцем був бізнесмен Борис Городинський, який свій даток присвятив на розвиток української музики в Канаді. Hello everybody. My name's Boris. I'm an onion farmer from Barrie, Ontario, and um, I'm here tonight to give him a million bucks. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
let me tell you something. I don't like signing checks, but this one I don't mind signing. It's for a great cause, and we're great supporters to the Shashenko Foundation. We did the Music Fund deal because I think that every culture, every peoples can no better express themselves but through music. And our people do a great job doing it through music. Thank you. Голова фундації Андрій Гладишевський гарно завершив вечір, запрошуючи всіх пам'ятати про працю і широкі наміри Шевченківської фундації та зробити маленьку пожертву на дальшу її працю. And I also expect that they've already given or made provision for their children, so their children will not be destitute. But there is an amount of money that everybody has, and no donation is too small for the Shoshenko Foundation to be part of a community that we belong to. And just make that small little extra effort, take that amount of energy from here, just like Mr. Temerte down did down to a check here, and uh, our campaign will reach $20 million. But, uh,